process of concern for the whole community, you realise that poverty causes all sorts of things. I went to many, many orphanages and, and one particular one I met, um, Sister Fatima, and she runs a beautiful school with a nun. And um, there are 25 young boys there, ranging from three to about 16. They're helping themselves, which I liked. The place was clean, it was spotless, there was a beautiful garden, there were flowers, they were friendly, they were courteous, they, were, they spoke beautiful English. They're really abandoned children. They had, some had cataracts, some had deformities and so on. She wanted uh, new pillowcases. We saw her budget, went, okay, and so, we sponsored her for the whole budget, for the whole year. I saw my grandchildren and those children there. You know, and I know how advantaged my children are living in London. You know. I can't wait to develop the project further and take some of these children to the next level. So what we've done is photograph every single child, got their names, we'll then put them on our blog and then our members can then sponsor a child. And hopefully that program will take off and we've got to start somewhere. We've got 25 children, hope will help some more and then obviously um, help them to help themselves. Look at the happiness abounding with these kids. They're poor, they've been abandoned, mums have left them. But it's, it's, the, dedica century. it's the dedication of the two people who are looking yeah. after the children. 24-7, this is yeah. their life. They've got no money, they've got no food, they've got nothing. But the happy, look how happy these kids are. And look how healthy they are. They, our own kids can learn from some of the things. Look, we got an obesity problem back in Australia. Look at the one, look at this. This reminds me of my own childhood. Amazing, when I was growing up in a refugee camp, you know. We had nothing but we had lots of love.